this picture is taken from your tutorial and uh, you can see that this again is a very abnormal liver which is diffusely affected by this uh, range of nodules of different sizes and this again is an example of cirrhosis. So we're going to have a look at the microscopic appearance. This is the cut surface. You can see the nodularity and a very low power view to show you the nodules of regenerating hepatocytes separated by fibrous septa. Here is the virtual slide of a case of cirrhosis. And again, at low power, we can appreciate the nodularity. And you can see that there are some areas in between, which are the septa, which appear a little bit different from the pink uh, hepatocytic regenerative nodules. So first of all, let us define cirrhosis. This is a loss of hepatic architecture due to replacement by regenerative hepatocytic nodules. And these are surrounded by fibrous septa. Let's uh, look around and see whether there's any normal liver parenchyma. And there really isn't any because the entire section here has been replaced by nodules. So let's focus on one of the nodules. You can see a little bit of a bluish edge around it. And this is due to the accumulation of inflammatory cells. Uh, we have mostly lymphocytes here present at the edge of the nodule. And if we were to look in the nodule, we can still appreciate the trabecular architecture of these plates of hepatocytes. These would be the sinusoids, and these are the hepatocytes. And some of these cells would be Kupfer cells, which are macrophages. And these hepatocytes themselves actually don't look too abnormal. So it is more um, something that we appreciate on low power rather than at high power view. Let's zoom back out again and look at the intervening area uh, between nodules. For example, uh, Let's look over here. We can see that this area is fairly pink, and the pinkness is due to fibrosis. This collagen tissue, fibrous tissue here. Um, not only that, we can see a lot of vessels. This large gaping vessel here is probably a vein. And there are a lot of tubular structures here uh, that are regenerative uh, from some of the small bile ductules. So often we get a lot of ductular proliferation. But the important thing to note here is the absolute architectural disruption, the presence of this fibrous septa which contain vessels, uh, bile ducts. This may be bile duct from an original preserved portal tract with uh, the portal vein over here. And it starts off from bridging fibrosis where the portal tract actually bridges to the original area of the central vein and therefore destruction of the hepatic parenchyma. Uh, can we actually ascertain the cause of cirrhosis? Many times we can't by looking at the histology. In very specific causes like uh, alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, which is a metabolic disease, or perhaps hemochromatosis, we may be able to see histologic features of that. And you can revise what are some of these histologic features. Uh, also for biliary cirrhosis, there may be some bile stasis as well. But in most cases, for example, like alcoholic liver cirrhosis or cirrhosis secondary to hepatitis due to viral infections, we often are not able to ascertain the cause by looking at the histology. So we need the clinical picture. So go back and revise on some of the causes of cirrhosis. And not only that, also the clinical manifestations and the complications, which are both systemic and also complications in the liver. One such important uh, complication within the liver itself is hepatocellular carcinoma. And we can see that this is a liver with underlying cirrhosis. Um, you can even see the nodularity of the capsule. And here there is this mass that is much larger than the other cirrhotic nodules that appears to even be cavitating here uh, due to necrosis. This large mass is very highly likely to represent hepatocellular carcinoma arising on the background of cirrhosis. Also, don't forget other complications uh, like portal hypertension and the effects that arise from it.